So guys, it's time uh, that I show you one of the, my biggest projects. Uh, whatever we do here, we try to make it sustainable. We try to reuse the parts, we try to reuse uh, uh, all the available commercial parts to repair anything, to repair the drive units, to repair the battery packs. So today is birthday, second birthday of our biggest uh, UPS hybrid solar system which we made from uh, recycled Tesla battery cells, I mean modules. The main purpose of our existence is to make the circular economy uh, possible and available to anyone. If we have, for example, battery pack of Model, uh, model S, which is in defect, we try, we try to repair with already existing defect battery pack, let's say, this, uh, this battery pack has 16 modules and if there is one module in defect which is not usable for the car, we use it for the battery pack. But this battery pack has 15 more modules to use on other battery packs. That means with one defect battery pack I can repair at least 15 different cars. Of course, if internal resistance of each module and each brick is enough for the next car, so that's why we have the we have the library of the cells and we have a library of the modules. But right. this is one real example of what we do. When we decide one module is not good enough, let's say if there is two or three cells, we can drill it and we can change only those cells and we can weld the same fuse on both sides. So we do what we do here. We try to save the module if it's possible. If we, have, if we have overheated, let's say overheated module, and we need to change at least 20 or, or 50 cells, that's right now not possible. But we are developing uh, the procedure. We are trying to replace the upper mesh and lower mesh. This uh, plastic repurpose complete module but with the new, with the new uh, upper and lower mesh plastic PVC uh, matrix, how to, I don't know how to say it. We have a big master plan how to have the biggest library of all replacement parts for all but the battery packs uh, for different manufacturers from, from different type of suppliers so we can be able to repair any possible defect on any battery pack of the EVs. For example, Mercedes-Benz do not sell any of the spare parts of the battery pack. Sometimes they even change the healthy battery pack because they do not have the spare parts. But we, we, we have the master plan too for the EV clinic. We will be the, the only one, the biggest one supplier for all third party workshops to supply all the spare parts. In the phase one, we already prepared 2,000 parts. They are already on, in, on the web shop of the EV clinic. Right now, we have all the fuses, pre-charge relays, pre-charge contactors, and all other pyro fuses, fuses. We will have all the BMS systems, Tesla Model S, Model Y. We will have, if you can see, we will have all types of pyro fuses, fuses, contactors here. You can see we have supply of Mercedes-Benz contactors. We will have all type of small fuses, OBC fuses for all type of the cars. The most important part, we will have all the cells for almost all different type of the cars. We will have big storage system and we will, we will, we will build big supply chain of all the spare parts. But to complete the circle of circular economy is to reuse all the old parts. With all, with all of those old parts we can, uh, we can reuse them not only in EVs, you can reuse them in uh, stationary uh, battery systems, small and big ones. And now I will show you it's five kilometers from my workshop. We will show you how I built one uh, big system, 150 kilowatt hour pack from old defect modules from Model S. So let's go. And we are here, finally. So a lot of customers ask me what we do with the, 
with defect cells and with, with defect modules. The question which is mostly popping up on, on the mainstream media and everything everywhere else. What you do with defect cells? Okay, this is the example what we do with them. When you this is an example where even dead Tesla saves your money. Almost all of those models were in defect. We repaired uh, or doesn't matter, maybe some cells, maybe fuses, maybe maybe B and B's. But at the end those models were not good enough to use it on EVs, but they're extremely useful to use it in the second life. We have here 150 kilowatt hour packs modules in total. So this system is extremely safe with 25,000 fuses and some extra safety features which we implemented in our junction box. But this is already running two years and we didn't have any issues, only two minor issues to set up the, the, the minimum values, maximum values how to operate in different conditions but at the end this is one of the best system which we made we replicated a Tesla junction box so we, in the middle we have a complete control system with positive terminals going in they are controlled with extra fuses for each group for each each parallel group has each, its own fuses there is a CAN bus uh, current sensor to protect the fuses even from the short circuit to open the contactors if there is any problem upper side is going to the positive and negative terminals in the back those are negative and this is the positive and this is the low voltage line so everything on the low voltage is connected in the, in the upper row of the PVC pipe and there are the these, uh, 48 volts of the DC system is not just ordinary UPS system it is uh, connected even in the with the on grid system there is one solar edge uh, it's solar edge in, in, in the main house 10 kilowatts with 10 kilowatts of solar panels and there are photovoltaic chargers which are directly charging the battery packs uh, in total in this facility there is 11 kilowatts of, of uh, solar panels directly charging the battery packs and there is a BMS system monitoring and controlling everything we can see 26 and 30 delta and uh, thermal delta and there is a uh, 30 millivolts of uh, voltage delta and we have 15,000 volt amp three quattro inverters think it could hold let's say with even the old defect battery modules it could hold 10 more years even if something fails we will change only one module or we will change only one cell so the purpose of the battery pack is not to recycle it so uh, any EV which ends, ends his life on the road it should be reused in stationary a battery system doesn't matter if it's home if it's uh, industry or anything else so this is one example what we made in six months and it's uh, already working two years perfectly uh, we replicated the tesla junction box here we have servo system controlling complete setup communicating with all uh, with inverters with the solar edge we have crow bms which was made by one guy from england and uh, we didn't want to lose time because we didn't know how many of those we will need so we redesigned the simp bms so we could reuse it in our own systems and we made our own which we assembled in the evc clinic we don't sell it but we use it in in-house for our our own systems and this one is example how to do it how to make it safe and how to make it op to operate without human interaction for a very long time and to explain simply how this works the main power is consumed if there is a solar power it will be consumed directly to the inverters to the home and if there is no solar power it will be drawn from the battery pack and there if there is no solar of or if there is no battery pack if it's completely empty then at the end 
it will be charged directly from the grid. So grid is used only as generator and for example if the grid is off this system will work always because it works in the UPS system and uh, in any case nothing is returned to the grid because there, no, there is no need uh, we have enough battery packs to store the daily energy to the battery pack and depends how many cars hybrids are charged uh, if there is no enough energy even the, on the sunny day it will be again used from the grid so from the grid is drawn almost uh, uh, only 10 kilowatts of power and the rest of 62 kilowatts are drawn from the battery pack and from the solar setup and at the end he has one more inverter of 10 kilowatts which is working on grid but to the battery pack will be used directly from the solar edge so if he needs some excess power in the in on the daily on the daily basis he he will be supplied from the solar uh, from the Victron energy this is it guys and this is example uh, how the battery packs which are not useful anymore should be reused for the battery storage systems